as you can see, I've been busy here onto the homestead. And the garden's been doing great. It's been producing a lot. I've been dealing with two homesteads, and sometimes time can get short. Like today, I'm going to be mowing six acres of land. But I wanted to go out there and test the pH into it because we've had a lot of rain here and rain can soak all your nutrients, everything you put in that soil down and it can start lacking. But I didn't get to it. I wanted to make sure they had enough lime into it, see how the fertility is, see how the alkaline is, see how the acidity is. And I didn't get to it and I went out there and I found a dilemma. I found end rot suddenly out of nowhere. And my tomatoes were doing excellent. They're loaded down with blooms. They're loaded down with tomatoes. Now these I went ahead and picked because I want to make sure I did not lose them. They're a nice big size here. And so they'll just ripen right on up. But here on the end, you'll see where the bloom was. This is where the bloom was and the tomato grows out. Here is where you get your end rot or some people call it bloom rot. So I went out there and seen that, and I was like, oh, no. So I went ahead and picked these tomatoes right here, let them ripen up, make sure I don't lose them, just for cautionary reasons. But after that, I said, I got to do some research. I want to make sure that I'm lacking in calcium. Should I put Epsom salt on it? Would that help? And when I threw my research, I found out that calcium nitrate will help out with bloom rot. Now, I went out there and put it around the plants, even though we just had the rain, um, but that's going to take a little bit to get down in that soil and get into the roots and get into the plant. So this afternoon, once this sun dries up that soil this afternoon, I will go out there and water to see about getting those nutrients in there. Another thing that I discover, if you take calcium nitrate and take a gallon of water and mix two tablespoons of calcium nitrate into the water and then put it into a spray bottle, you can spray it on your plants and the plant will absorb the calcium nitrate and get it into the plant fast so that's what i want i want something fast but the thing of it is i want to test the plant because my experience is is that when i've listened to somebody else and i think i had some mites or something or another my grandma used to call them lice um that's an old timey way but anyways i had them on the okra and i decided i researched i decided to get some, a little bit of dish detergent and some water and go out there and spray it on the plants but what happened was when that sun hit the plants it burned the leaves well the plants pulled through no big deal it just looked terrible for a little bit until it put, put out more leaves but that taught me a learning lesson so besides taking all this calcium nitrate and spraying it on my plants uh, and see what happens. I'm going to take one plant, wait two days, see what it does. The heat will hit it today and see in two days if it's going to burn that plant or it's going to pull through and help those plants out. The plants look healthy. They're luscious. They're, they're full of blooms, full of tomatoes. So I definitely don't want to ruin my plants. If this works out good, doesn't burn my plant up, then and it works out good, this is going to be my go-to solution for end rot or bloom rot for my tomatoes. Now, I very seldom have end rot or bloom rot, but they usually pull through. If they do, just give it a little bit of time. What you're going to do is those tomatoes that have the end rot on them, you're going to go ahead and pull those off and get rid of them because they're just no good. They're just going to continue rotting. And that's, you don't want to take all that nutrients going to that rotten tomato and push it through the other plants. So another thing that I've been wanting to do was test that pH. And uh, this is a meter, it's by Burby. It shows the fertility, it shows the pH onto it, it shows where it's too low, um, perfect, or too high into whether it's acid, acid is it could be acidy, or it could be alkaline. And that's one of the things I wanted to test out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Here is another pH tester. It's called Garden Tutor, and it has little strips into it. I haven't tried these yet. I'm definitely going to be trying these to see if it matches up to this meter right here. Now, this meter is really simple and easy. You just stick it into the ground. It shows the reading onto it in a few seconds. Uh, it says to wait a couple minutes, but I find out just as soon as I put it in that soil, it starts reading out. I do give it a few minutes, a few seconds or whatever, now a few seconds and wait a few minutes to see if it still has the same reading and it usually does. I also take it around the garden because you want to make sure 
that because it's going to be in different areas that your pH or is the same, your fertility, your fertilizer is doing well into the garden. So this is the calcium nitrate. I already had it here. Just didn't get it out there to the garden. But, you know, when you catch things, you got to jump on to it. So that's what I'm going to do. So come on out there with me in the garden. Come on out there and let's see how that garden is doing today.